Awesome. Let's see what else we can turn up. Good morning, everyone. It has been a day or two since you last saw me. Um, we had a couple of rainy days here in between the nice ones. And as you can see, today is absolutely beautiful. Rained all night last night. The ground's nice and saturated. Should make for a good morning of flipping and hiking. The sun's out now, so hopefully stuff will be out trying to dry off. Hopefully we'll be able to find a good amount of snakes today. Uh, I got a bit of a late start because it rained a bit into the early morning hours, so I slept in a little. But I'm out right now, getting ready to hit it. I'm gonna meet Richard out here, and we're gonna see what we can turn up. Hopefully it's gonna be a good day. I will check in with you guys when we hit the field. All right, guys, here's our first snake of the day, unsurprisingly. Nice little ring neck. Uh, deep in shed, in between layers of tin. So we'll pull him out and keep flipping the rest of this, but snake number one, good start. So the ring neck was in there, and right over here, there's a rat snake, just chilling. That is a fast start, if you ask me. So this guy is a moderately sized, nice, healthy adult rat snake. We see a fair amount of these guys at this particular spot, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see more today. But definitely nice to see a snake out on the move this early. Um, definitely gives me high hopes for the rest of the day. So two snakes within like the first five seconds of being on the ground here, and we got to flip all this stuff, so. These are so awesome. How's it going, buddy? Just chilling. Hi. Hey. What's up, bro? He's gray. He's really nice. Nice and gray. There we go. First big rat snake of the day. Hopefully we'll see some more, but nice, healthy, dull gray rat. Put you back and I can leave you alone and see what else we can turn up. All right, guys, so the main thing we're hoping to see today is Scarlet Kings and potentially Eastern Kings and Timber Rattlesnakes. I've only seen Scarlet Kings at this spot, but looks super good for basically everything, and there's always a lot of snakes. Um, I mean, as you saw, we got two snakes right out of the car. So hopefully there will be plenty more to come today. It's still pretty early in the day, so we're going to keep after it, and hopefully we will be able to turn up some more stuff. But the habitat, just mixed pine, hardwood forest. Re relatively recently controlled burned, so it's nice and open. Visibility is good. And uh, we know there's a lot of snakes here, so we're going to hit it hard and see what we can turn up. There we go. Richard just got our first Scarlet King of the day. Holy crap. <laughs> that is beautiful, too. Yep. Could not be more perfect. Oh, my goodness. So no sooner had I run that... Last clip, Richard screams Scarlet King from just up the hill for me and holds up this beauty. That is amazing. Scarlet King snake here in the Georgia Piedmont. Number one target for the day. And it's still early, so we might end up seeing another one or something else. So we're going to get some photos of this guy real quick and we'll keep at it. Well, yet again, we got our main target for the day pretty early. And uh, last time this happened, the rest of the day kind of slowed down after that. But, I mean... It's hard to complain. Absolutely beautiful Scarlet King. Third snake of the day here in the Georgia Piedmont. Beautiful. Anyways, this is another smaller snake. I mean, these things can get three times the size, but this is a pretty typical size that I see them. Um, They're a very small king snake, more closely related to milk snakes than the eastern king snake. So. Basically the southeast pine woods equivalent of the milk snake. And man, are they gorgeous. So amazing. Anyways, we're going to get a couple shots of this guy real quick and put him back in his tree. Got a nice cloud over us right now that's making him glow. That is amazing. Anyways, a little more habitat. Pretty nondescript looking habitat at this spot. I mean, we've got some nice pine trees, but I mean, this was all logged, so this isn't isn't really insane habitat. And obviously, these guys are still hanging on pretty well. What a perfect snake! Looks good in the sun and in the shadows. Yeah, he's so pretty. 
doesn't even look real. I <laughs> know. How is that something that just lives in the woods? That's something that I can just go find. Doesn't even make sense. <laughs> All right, bud. There's your tree. Awesome. Let's see what else we can turn up. All right, guys, next herp of the day, under this little piece of bark right here, he's on top of big, nice northern slimy salamander. I always enjoy seeing these guys, so I figured I'd show them to you, but he's a, whoop. We're just gonna let him go back under his log. Anyways, nice. He's like coming out. Well, he was cold up. Oh, he was, he uncurled. Second ring neck of the day. This one's pretty good size. Looks like he's right about to shed. Anyways. That was a perfect little rock. Here's another salamander. Richard just flipped this little Webster eye. The Webster salamander. We've seen a ton of these guys this year, so we'll just let him go back under his rock. All right, guys, got a little tin stack here that I set up that we're gonna flip. I haven't flipped it since I put it out here like three years ago. It wasn't actually three years ago, but still that way. Nice and moist. Dang. Holy crap, really there will be one day. Right. Disrespectful. Well, just flipped our second Scarlet King of the day. This one under a rock. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that. That is amazing. Well, that is insane. I'd never flipped a Scarlet King under a rock until this week, and now I've flipped two. And at two different spots in different parts of the Georgia Piedmont. That is insane. And this under this exact rock, I one time flipped a Northern Scarlet Snake. So apparently that rock is just money. That is insane. Holy crap. That is unbelievable. What a rush. Two Scarlet Kings today. One under a rock and one behind tree bark. That is amazing. Yeah. So this guy's much bigger than the first one, but uh, still not quite as big as they get. But beautiful Scarlet King, second one of the day. Only the second one I've ever flipped under a rock, both of which were this week at different spots. Super weird. Anyways, that is, I mean, it's not gonna get any better than that. Two Scarlet Kings today, both of which beautiful, freshly shed, don't have a blemish on them, just amazing. Anyways, we're gonna put this girl back under a rock and we might end up calling it a day here pretty shortly. All right. There we go. Scarlet King number two for the day. Go, go. That is amazing. All right, guys, Richard had to head out, but I'm hitting another spot here closer to home. Um, the wind's picked up a little bit, but it still feels pretty good out here. So I'm gonna go try to hit some tin that I have in this area and just see if I can see anything out basking around here too. So I will keep you guys posted. All right. I'm definitely running out of stops here. even be the same one I saw in this stack last spring. Very cool. It's a snake. So since this guy's so feisty, I had to go to the bottom of the stack off camera to avoid getting torn to shreds, but Jesus, this guy's unhappy. Anyways, second rat snake for the day. First one I've gotten at this spot this year. And uh, could even be a recapture from last year. Uh, I found one about this size in the same 10 stack last year, about the same time. So 
it's possible this is the same snake. I think that that snake from last year would be much bigger than this by now, but there's actually a giant rat at the bottom of the stack, maybe even too big for this guy to eat. So either way, I'll put him back. If we don't see anything else, decent enough way to end the day, but I've got a little bit more tin to flip. So I'm gonna get a couple photos of this guy and put him back. All right, all right, all right. Let's just put you down and see where you go. Freaking out is where he goes. There was also a copperhead in this stack early last year and he was not there today. Jeez, that thing tore me up. All right, everyone. Well, it has been an incredible day to say the least. Uh, didn't get the king snake or the eastern king snake here at the end like I was hoping. But we did find a couple of incredible snakes along with plenty of common stuff. So I'm probably gonna have to continue this video in a part two, which I guess will be tomorrow. So anyways, I'm gonna focus on driving through this mud hole and I uh, will see you guys tomorrow. Hello everybody. It is the day after you last saw me. And today I plan to just get out around the house a little bit. Uh, the high today is like 55 degrees. It's real cold for this time of year. Um, but generally that can be a good thing for flipping because the snakes just go undercover and they stay there on the cold days like today. My buddy Tim is going to come and flip here with me today. And uh, he still really wants to see a mole king and a scarlet snake. So those are the two big targets for the day. Um, I think they're both pretty much a long shot. Definitely not guaranteed, but the weather's good enough. Uh, we had a lot of rain recently and it's nice and cool today. So stuff is definitely going to be undercover, hopefully. So anyways, we're going to get after it and I will keep you guys posted. Hopefully I can wrap this video up here today though. So the goal is to just find enough herps to kind of wrap this video up with this afternoon. So anyways, we're going to go flipping and I will keep you guys posted. All right, guys, there's the first snake of the day. Nice little brown snake in between layers of tin here. That's a probably a pretty good sign because I don't actually see these guys here too often. This tin is a little bit warm to the touch despite how cool it is, so. All right, next flip, we got two little smooth earth snakes coiled up together right here, which is pretty cool. Two little juveniles too. But we're gonna pull these guys out real quick so these guys can look at them, but pretty cool. Little, those might, might actually be the first ones of these I've seen here this year. All right, we just flipped the ring neck and I forgot to show him, but right here, the first time this 10 stack has produced, we have a nice little black red-bellied snake. We pick this guy up, you can see. Yeah. <laughs> They're cool. All right, well, snakes are definitely out in decent numbers today. We got a ring neck, a brown snake, uh, a couple of earth snakes, and this guy now, so. Hopefully there will be something a little bit more uh, rare under the cover today, but we've hit about half of it now, so we're gonna let this guy go and keep moving. Everyone good with this guy? Yep. Yeah. Well, there we go. That might be the same guy that we saw under here last year around, or I guess it was in November we got a king under here at the end of the year. It's very possible that is the same snake, but that is awesome. First Yard King of 2021. Well, the first and hopefully not the last Yard King Snake of 2021. I haven't checked this guy's markings yet to see if this is the same one that we were seeing at the end of last year, but I'm relatively certain it is after looking at him for a little bit. But either way, this is a really handsome little snake, nice and healthy, made it through his first winter exceptionally well. So we're gonna put him back. All right, guys, so we're out here walking around in habitat now and under this bad boy, we flipped a giant, northern red salamander this guy is huge He's a little bit dull in coloration but always nice to see everyone's excited to see a ruber today so nice we're gonna put him back under his rock but nice chunky red salamander we're really hoping to flip a scarlet snake or something like that under these rocks so we're gonna put this guy back and keep after it all right guys a couple rocks past the red salamander we have our second ring neck i didn't get video of the first one because i just forgot but this guy's also deep in shed but really hoping that there will be a scarlet snake under one of these today. But really nice. In shed. We'll pull him out so we can put the rock back. But Dad, little ring neck. Back. He's got a cool belly too. Here's a particularly handsome little fence lizard I just flipped. Haven't seen anything since the ring neck. So I figured I'd show you guys this little fancy before we put him back. But really good looking. Super dark. 
with that metallic blue on the belly. Good looking little lizard. There you go. Wow. All right, guys, just flipped a nice sized rock and underneath it, a little ring neck double flip. Apparently, all we're gonna find out here today is ring necks, but it's better than nothing at least. Two of them under this rock. All right, guys, I'm probably gonna wrap this video up here. It's the next day. I'm currently out with Ian, about to go flip some tags and see what we can find. But I'm gonna wrap this video up here and make this day a new video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode, which will be today.